In this video, we'll cover the following topics. Level sensing and timed demand dose, alarm options, and general advanced settings. If you want to skip to a particular section, check the progress bar or look at the video description for times. For basic settings, please see our first video in this series, Setup, Menu, and Basic Settings. Advanced Menu. Here you can see the advanced menu with options listed. Please note the seal fail thermal, overload cutout, and expansion port options are for future development of this product. Maximum pumps on and troubleshooting will be covered in future videos. Level Sensing The level sensing menu allows you to switch between sea level to float switch based control. Simply scroll to the one you want and press the dial to select. Use back to return to the previous menu. Additionally, the controller will recognize and alarm if you select the wrong sensing type for what you have wired to the control panel. Timed Demand Dose the Time Demand Dose menu allows you to change between the two functions. Use the dial to scroll and select the function you want. If selecting Time Dose, you can choose between a single timer or independent timers in a duplex application. Use Back to return to the previous screen. Alarm Options The Alarm Options menu allows you to select how you want your beacon and horn to be displayed during an alarm event. For both, you can use the dial to select no flash, flash all, or flash alarm to only. You can also enable a manual reset for an alarm event. General. The general screen shows the display and controller firmware revision number. It also has additional settings that can be changed. As shown in the video, you can do a factory reset. This will reset the controller to the default settings and you will be routed to the setup wizard again. In the general menu, select home display data to choose two of the following to be displayed on the main screen, ETMs, amps, or cycles. The AMPS option will show you the AMP draw of the pump while it is running. This can be helpful in troubleshooting issues with the system. Need more detailed information? Check out the IFS Controller Operation Manual on our website. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.